this cute little oyster shell on the beach and I wanted to make a small natural amethyst gemstone tray. So you're going to get 24 gauge wire, silver, tarnish resistant, and you're going to need probably about 15 strands. You'll also need your wire cutters, a small little pair of the flat nose pliers, your Gorilla, your gorilla Clear Grip Glue. I like this a little bit better now than the E6000. I'm gonna put three gemstones on each wire. Meet your strands right there at the middle have your gemstones fall right through the middle of the wire and you're going to grab one of them in the middle and twist five times. Spread that apart. Grab this gemstone and you're going to bend the wire so it meets like that. and twist that five times. So it looks like that. Place your finger right under it and twist that three times. Now you should have this wire longer with the last bead on there but I need it to go on this side. So I'm gonna twist it one more time. This way all of your wires will be even at the ends. Not even exact, but pretty close to it. Bend your wire, meet it right there, and twist. You don't wanna over twist because then you risk snapping your wire That's what it should look like. Place your finger right in the middle of those two wires and twist that about five times. Maybe six. You want this a, a little bit longer since that's gonna be your stem. And like I said, it's not gonna be an exact, but it's okay. And we're gonna do that with all 15 wires. and I will see you back here when we're done. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get three of your stems, spread the wire apart, and join the three right in the middle at the base of where you stopped twisting. Put your finger in there, hold the wire like so in your fingers. And we're going to twist that by gently pulling up right at the base of the wire, not at the beads. And we're going to twist one, two, three, four, and sorry about my big hands in the way five. Okay, and we're going to continue to do that. One, two, and three. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. If you got something from the video, slam the like button. I think this is by far the easiest tree you can make. And I like to use the purple amethyst. I mostly use the shiny stones, but I wanted to do the, sh the natural because they're known for their healing properties. 
and just total well-being if you have them in your house. Now you have two more to do. Quick and easy. Feel free to use other gemstones so you don't have to use amethyst and you don't have to use silver wire. You can use anything you want, just be sure it's 24 gauge. Two and three. Alrighty, you have them done. You have five sections. We're going to take two, put those together, and twist that. One, two. We'll do three. And these two. So you're going to do two, two, and you're going to have one left over. One, two, okay, and if you have stray wires like this showing, just incorporate it in, it's not a big deal. Three, okay, just like that. Now, We will take these two and this one and go ahead and put it together. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and twist this last one if, if you have the room, the wire room, two more times and I'll show you why. So the last one that is the lone one with only three is going to be the longest trunk. Not really a trunk, the branch. So we're going to put that there. And this one here. Okay, and you're just going to join them like that, right at their little bases, at the edge of where you twisted. And now we're going to get our little rubber tipped flat nose pliers. And we're going to hold it with our hands right here and start to twist. And if you see one starting to stray, just put them back. And when they're this short, it's a little difficult, but we got this. And these little short wires here, like I said before, just go ahead and mesh those in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like the way this is gonna turn out. Yeah, we're not gonna really have any root system on this. That's actually what I wanted because it's gonna sit right in that shell beautifully with the fake moss, or the real moss, the greenery around it. So we'll go ahead and cut this little thing off here. Yay, I don't have to do roots. I'm so excited. Okay, time to design it. So what we're gonna do is we left this guy here with the long branch. And we're just going to flatten it out like that. Push it down and then up like so. Kind of like a little L. Get it in there. Okay. And then the top ones, and I'm just playing with this as I go. I don't really have a design in my head. It kind of tells you what it wants to do. 
but there's a lot of beads on here to work with, so this is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's looking really cute. Okay, like that. And you will go up like there. Okay, that is freaking adorable. Yeah, I like it. Isn't it cute, Kelly? Look at it. Oh my God, sorry to keep moving the tree from away from you guys. Okay, now, I like it. It's cute, simple, adorable, and feel free to play with it a little bit more if you want to, but I'm satisfied with that. Yeah. What we're gonna do with these non-roots, if I could have to call it something, is, we're going to spread them out because they're still going to be glued down. And let's get these little guys where they need to be. And you're just going to fan it out a little bit if you can. Like so. So that they can lay in the shell and be glued down. And it's going to go on the top. So maybe I should have done some roots, but that's okay. I don't care. I like the tree. Now what we're going to do is secure it onto this little hump here. Now I'm sure you don't have the same shell with the same hump. So just play with your, your base, whatever you chosen and see where you like it best. Go with your gut instinct. Rubber bands are great for putting down your trees. So we're going to just twist this a little bit. Like so, in there. And get your band and place it right there. And go ahead and, it doesn't have to be anything major or beautiful, just go ahead and twist them, a few of these wires together. Give it a little bit more stability. And now we're going to tuck it under that band very carefully. And then you go over this way. good okay then we're going to go around this side please stay on so far so good don't worry about the um, rubber band getting on the glue because I will show you how to get that off after and put it right across that and somehow maneuver that baby to stay on. So we're going to let this dry probably overnight and I'm going to add a tiny bit more glue to make sure it doesn't come off. Don't worry about it getting on the band because we're going to cover it with the moss. Just make sure that stays. Now we are going to take off these rubber bands. And I already took the liberty of snipping most of them off. There's only two on there actually. And they stayed stuck on the glue. No biggie. Get your wire cutters and just gently pull it off. We're gonna go ahead and shape the tray. I used a needle nose pliers long tip. It is so much easier to get in there and maneuver exactly where you want each stone instead of using your hands. 
we're going to go ahead and design this with a seashore theme because we use the shell and I'm going to put on some tiny shells don't want to use shells that are too big because you want to keep the illusion of this tree being bigger on this mountain seashell works for me 